Hey guys, it's Late Waker, and today I'm back for Zombies Part 3, and I'm going to be playing Bad Blood today. So basically what Bad Blood is, is like, so you shoot zombies to gain gold. You use gold to open doors in order to advance throughout the map, gaining access to upgraded weapons and perks. Using these, you kill harder and harder zombies and win the game at stage 30. So the strategy is, we each take one of these, uh, like, cracks in the walls, I guess, with the wood there, and we wait till zombies start coming, then we let them break some of the wood, and then we kill them, because if you shift and, um, repair the wood, then you get 10 coins per wooden slab repaired, and the more coins, the better. We then stay here until round 5, and then buy mansion, so we can progress the game. It's round 4 now, but Tigger already has enough coins to open mansion, so he's just going to do that. Alright, so now I open library after almost dying to a zombie. With opening library, two like kind of bosses come. They're bosses for the level you're at, and they're pretty easy if all four people are there. But library gives shotgun, and it gives some gold armor. I personally don't like to get gold armor. There's iron armor uh, soon, and it's just worth it to get iron armor straight off the bat. But shotgun is really good, and you're going to end up using that towards the end of the game, so I get it. Pro tip, if you click this lever, you get 50 free coins. Just remember that. He, he has enough coins to open dungeon, and now he's just going to do that. He he already died? What a clown. Since he he's revived, I can go get iron armor now. Pro tip, always get iron armor. Because it really helps. If you're stuck in no armor and the mobs are coming, you are dead. From here, we just started flying through the rounds and progressing through the kill and game. And I just unlocked crits. These boss kind of spiders are really hard because they have small hitboxes and do a fair bit of damage. King Slime has now spawned and he is another boss. He's the first actual boss that we have to kill. Tigger 30 is down in dungeons, which is the room next to me, so he'll be pretty easy to revive. I'll revive him now and you get a speed boost once you revive somebody, so it's actually kind of good if you do. He has killed King Slime, so it's good. The mobs only got harder from here, and there was more and more close calls. For example, I got to two hearts a numerous amount of times, and more zombies kept on swarming, so teamwork was the key. So in the middle of the fight, my friend Fox came, and... He basically helped me kill them, or I might have died, maybe. The phases were getting a lot harder, and it was time I got myself full iron armor. This was a big milestone, since it allowed me to survive way longer. It was at this time when we started ramping things up. I rolled the 1,000 coin lucky chest with one goal in mind, getting either the zombie zapper or the blow dart. And I got so lucky, I got the zombie zapper. I quickly replaced it with my pistol, and now I could destroy things at twice the speed. This didn't mean I had to stop sticking with my team. I still needed them, and one of the others, Hee Hee, also got a zombie zapper. The rounds are gonna get much harder, so we opened graveyard, and this housed the ultimate machine, which will make your weapons ultimate. This basically makes the weapons much stronger. The thing is, we couldn't even use Ultimate Machine without power, which is a whole other thing. Even though power is very expensive, like it's 1,000 coins, we needed it and he, he was on the job. It spawned King Midas, which is just a harder King Slime, and we just defeated him quickly. Now I bought the Quick Revive perk because we had power. This would help us survive in the later stages of the game. We kept on defeating zombies and progressing up the rounds. Now I had enough money for the ultimate zombie zapper. 
This was super powerful. At this point, we were dying a lot, and the quick revive perk helped a lot because we could actually revive very quickly. Round 17 came, and the challenge just got harder. Fox got down, and shortly afterwards, so did I. Tigger also got down, and no one was able to revive him. Then he he died, and the game was over.